Hello, it's Copernical, and welcome to my channel. Today we're celebrating my channel reaching 64 subscribers on YouTube. Well, it looks like I'm a bit late. And I haven't made anything since 9 months ago. Well, I hope to make more soon. Thank you for liking my stuff, I enjoy making it. Anyway, what we are going to do to make this special is... Well, I'm going to play Alto's Adventure, which I've had a few requests for. And I'm going to try to get 64 llamas in one run. Let's see if I can do that. One llama equates to one subscriber. I don't have as many subscribers on the YouTube alternative, obviously. Later, I will be unboxing a new microphone because the one I'm using now is cheap and breaking. I... you might hear it. Let's get right into it. So, change in plans. Uh, my mic decided to uh, finally break on me, so I was unable to uh, record anything. So, I've already got my mic. It's a Moran's MPM 1000 condenser mic. It's an XLR mic. Um, it's about $50. I'd say it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice packaging. well protected inside this foam. Looks like it comes with a, a user guide. Alright. Bunch of technical specifications. And it's got some safety instructions. Alright, there it is. Alright, it comes with a stand here. Oh, that's cool. And it comes ah, with the tripod. I believe it's the European standard or something. I, I'm not sure. What something is European standard, and I don't know what. But let's see if I can screw this on. Yeah, that feels pretty nice, actually. Okay, I've never used one of these, so I'm not sure what I'm getting into here. Alright, one of these foam things. Whoa, it's a little just dented. Should be fine if I put it over. Ah, and here's the XLR cable. Fancy stuff. And here is the mic itself. Feels very solid, very solid. It is still made in China, but that's expected. Let's see, does it fit like this? Or how does this fit? How does this work? Whoa. Ah, so it looks like you pinch this part and kind of slide it in. Oh, wow, cool. Okay, cool, cool. That looks really cool. Very nice. There we go. Looks like kind of like a marshmallow, that's funny. Okay. Let's plug it in. It's kind of can't exactly hold itself up. Oh, probably because I'm not doing it right. Yeah, it seems like it falls over, but I think it can be tightened, so that's a good thing. Uh, nice click there. Very nice, the latch system. Yeah, XLR is cool. Pretty cool, huh? So, it's been a few days now, and I did not realize that condenser mics uh, re required phantom power. Uh, I didn't know much about phantom power either, but so I had to buy a mixer that supplied phantom power. This mixer uh, is a three channel mixer from Pile, and it supports 18 volts of phantom power, I believe. 
Yeah, so here it is. I wasn't intending to buy a mixer, but um, it might be nice for other uses as well. There it is. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, comes with some cables. Alright. Ooh, that is heavy. Here is a nice thought. It comes with a battery though, so I guess that makes sense. It doesn't really matter how heavy it is though. Alright, let's see. So comes with uh, yeah a wall cable and here is the power cable or is it the power cable or it might be a data cable it's got a device USB I think I, I forgot what it's called USB type B there's so many types of USB there it is and wow cool it says USB to computer EXT DC in 5 volts 500 milliamp oh so it might be dual purpose both the uh, power and data. Okay. Uh, and it's got all those outputs. Okay, nice. This should serve me well. It can take uh, XLR or 1 4 inch uh, audio jack. Standard. And looks like it comes with little feet I can attach. I'll just attach the feet. There it is, the pile audio mixer. I don't really know what I'm getting into here, uh, but I'm excited to learn new things. Alright, I've set up my microphone now. Uh, it was a bit hard at first, but I had a friend help me. Thank you. It actually turns out it's pretty simple. The mixer came with a lot of like nice instructions. Came with a good diagram of all the different ports and buttons. So now, it's time to try and get 64 llamas in one run in Alto's Adventure. So, let's get to it. Man, this game is pretty. Pretty, pretty. It's, it's got awesome lighting. It's It's got great soundtrack. Great noises. I like these many noises. Anyway. Let's see if we can do it. We'll start out with just four llamas. All right. See how far I can get. Got to keep stay focused. Don't let the music soothe you. Already up to eight llamas. I'm not sure who strings up these like ropes up on top of a random mountain, but they do. I mean, 
they have houses around here, but what are those ropes for? Is it too high up to be clotheslines? What a huge mountain. Just keeps going down and down. Never stops. That was close. Backflip. Ooh. Got a little nervous there. Oh boy. It's an elder. That bird was just sitting in midair. That was so weird. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Better do some tricks. Oh, I don't like the feather. It's just annoying. Wait, he's already caught up. Alright, that'll... That'll make him go away. Oh! No! Dang, how far did I get? Oh, great. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, sure, because she does the backflips faster and it feels nice. Alright, let's go. Make it, make it, make it. Oh! Oh, so close. So close. Let's try that again, see if we get. so close.
Ah, I had to finish. I finally came back for a super focused session to finalize it. I was intent on succeeding. I forced my peripherals to focus intently on the game, to be aware. I was struggling to hold out after the 50 llama mark. It was especially annoying to lose with the goal so close. I even unlocked pass, but I didn't feel ready to try the adjusted physics. I tried to prepare. I seek to mitigate crashes by using the shop items, but I found them to be too expensive. Then I honed in for an intense game. I made it. At 9,703 meters, I hit 64 llamas. My goal for a mer three frames in a 60 frame per second video. Those 64 llamas are 64 subscribers on YouTube. If you subscribed, apparently you are now a llama. <laughs> Thanks. I kept going though, it was a good round. I passed my uh, previous score and ended up with 14,996 meters traveled and 90 llamas collected. My next goal is probably going to be 128 and then I'm gonna keep going on there just I don't know base two funny thing but I mean that is a goal in subscribers not llamas because I think that would be a bit too hard for me I think that would take a lot longer for a video to make it anyway if you like this and want to see more of it I have more of this and exclusive content on YouTube alternatives actually only one YouTube alternative because I kind of ditched one because it wasn't as good hey it's me again at the end screen I haven't been up to nothing while I've been gone I've built a new computer and a desk to go with it and you may have noticed the upgraded intro and outro that I made using Blender and the upgraded outro song that I'm talking over right now. I really liked how it turned out. I'm also using Endeavor OS Linux now, which has been really nice instead of Ubuntu. I've also improved my PvP thanks to a friend of mine, Mocha Frappuccino. You should go check his channel out. And I now have 70 subs. <laughs> have a good day and see you.